Hey, thank you, and thanks for having me. So, uh, my name is John Pocock, and uh, owner of Propeat Fertilizer. Um, we're a new, uh, innovative fertilizer. We've just been in business about five years now. This is probably our fourth summer of marketing and sales. And uh, we make what we call a carbon-based fertilizer, and we use uh, sphagnum peat moss for our carbon source. And we bring sphagnum peat down from uh, Alberta, and uh, we take traditional NPK, is ammonium sulfate for our nitrogen source, and then MAP 1152 phosphate for our phosphate source, and then potash. And we grind everything up, run it through hammer mills, run the peat moss through a hammer mill. We blend it all together. You've probably seen our YouTube videos or our video of the plant there, it shows a big pan granulator, and we granulate it into an homogenous granule. And then we add micronutrients to it, and then we dry it, cool it, and and bag it, and uh, it's, a, it's a very good product. I grew up on a farm. We, had a, we grew up on a farm here in Idaho. We grow uh, potatoes, grain, corn silage. We've got a little cattle operation, and then I grew up milking cows, so we, I'm, a, I'm a farm kid at heart. But in, uh, in 1979, we got in the trucking business, and we run hopper bottoms, and uh, Sugar City, Idaho, we're right close to Pocatello, Idaho, where Simplot has a big phosphate factory plant. And then uh, Conda, Idaho. Conda, Idaho has the largest phosphate deposit in North America. And so that's where all the raw, a lot of the raw rock foss comes from. And there's a, uh, oh, it's changed hand two or three times. It used to be Agrium, and then it's, now it's Nutrien. Now Edafoss owns it. But anyway, our trucking company, we haul a lot of phosphate. I load trucks every day out of these phosphate plants and we haul it all over the Northwest and we haul a lot up into Canada. So through the trucking business is how, um, and actually Brian was talking about a company in Leighton, Utah, j, &J Produce. Uh, I used to haul fertilizer into them guys myself back in the mid eighties, mid late eighties before I started dispatching and doing other things. But it was one of their guys that uh, went to uh, these golf industry shows and he and I was uh, together one day and he said, you know, he says, I ran into some, uh, some guys from South Africa that's made, making a carbon-based fertilizer. He says, you got to get a hold of these guys. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what I need to get a hold of these guys for. But anyway, he, he told them about me and they come and visited me. And there's a guy named... If you get a minute, you can look this up on uh, online. It's called Nanturf, and it's in South Africa. And his name is Ockert Fury. And this guy eats, drinks, and sleeps plant science. Uh, just loves plant science. And he's actually the guy that invented this carbon-based fertilizer uh, using peat moss. And he was making it in South Africa in a little town called Bethlehem. Uh, South Africa, and he imports his peat moss clear up from Ireland uh, to South Africa to, to get his peat. So he has to bring his peat in from, from quite a ways. But anyway, he's the guy that developed this. And then what they did is they come to the U.S. and was looking for someone to uh, build a plant and, and build it. And they had actually been in talks with a couple of bigger fertilizer companies that we all know names of. But big corporate companies take a while to, to uh, run through the process. They got to go through research and development. They got to budget money for it and everything. And so what I did is I said, all right, I'll buy two containers, send them over here, but we, we've got to test this product first. 